that well, what do you say to people who not, kind of might sit, might be listening now um, and, and they're thinking that you know why don't these players just come out and make mm. it easier for everybody else but that's kind of easier said than done as Very, well like. much easier said than done and as, as I said when I started this documentary the aim was not to kind of push people to come out or, or to make people you know, be angry at the people who aren't coming out I fully understand the reasons why they aren't and that is because the game is broken in so many ways it does not allow them to come in it's because so many corners of the game have made a very conscious decision to be homophobic and not mm. to change that and I think the main reason for that is is because they if they, they know if they if they accept that they are and they accept that nothing's being done then they have to do something about it and I don't think they know how to do anything about it and I don't think they're willing to do anything about it But you mentioned the head of the FA there said something along the lines of will they get abuse on the terraces yes, yes. they will but yeah. I mean if they can stamp out smoking in grounds and drinking beer in football racism grounds Racism is the and biggest racism, And people can racism get you know, people, like you know, the, the get charged against, all that type of stuff now. The campaign against racism has been brilliant in the UK mm. it's been amazing I'm not saying it's completely gone it yeah. still happens in grounds but they have made a very conscious decision to stamp out racism and they have come so far in it and uh, part of that I think is the, the visibility of it you can look at a pitch and go I can see the people who are affected by racism I can see the black players I can see the players of all you know ethnic origins I can see who they are mm. you can't look at a pitch and go who is this affecting who are the gay people because they're not there and There's did you no catch any actual abuse on camera while you were filming for the we documentary did. so we went to a couple of games um, we spoke to a couple of fans who you know were all it's Adam and Adam it's not Adam and Eve sorry it's Adam and Eve it's not Adam and Adam yeah. all this sort of stuff um, back forward all oh, fashion everywhere. just even to hear that but, but we have a 90 minute recording at a Brighton game in the documentary which was a, a guy who went to a game that we were at Brighton Derby and Brighton get horrific abuse well Brighton is the gay capital of the UK gay is, as of a the city. UK. Yeah. so they get all these things said you know stand up because you can't sit down all these horrible kind of things that are sung at every single game and people do get banned for it but we have a 90 minute recording of someone screaming basically screaming faggot for 90 minutes and it's just horrific